Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back where today it is Villa away. We are heading up to Aston Villa's home ground of which I actually can't remember what it's called but it is a midweek matchup. Well, actually early week matchup. I thought this was on Tuesday. It's actually on Monday. Anyway, after a massive win against QPR on Friday, we look to try and continue this form. We were actually top of the league for like a day until Middles, uh, Middlesbrough played and got back on top of us. But as you can see there, Aston Villa are third. So this should be a much harder the game than what we faced when we faced QPR, who were actually third from bottom. So should be a fun one. Without any further ado, we'll jump straight in. As you can see, we've got five points on Villa right now. But the ex-Premier League side are not going to make it easy on us, especially when we're playing at Villa Park, as you can see. That was the name I was trying to find. All right, here we go. Now, unfortunately, the guys are a little bit uh, sort of worse for wear. As you can see, a lot of them have sort of, uh, well, are down on fitness, so I've had to make some changes to the lineup purely because they're just all so wrecked. I mean, we've had sort of six games, I think, six or seven games in the last three weeks, so not much of a break. But anyway, we'll see how we go today. Hopefully we can get back on top of the league. Two terrific teams in action here. Both of them in with a chance of winning the title. What happens will be really important. We're moments away. Join us for the kickoff, and it's live. Well, here we are. Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, really looking forward to today's game. And here we've got for you today, Aston Villa against Reading. And Aston Villa. Here's how the Villa line up. Number 27, Ahmed Elahamadi. Number 5, James Chester. Number 24, Tommy we are playing for high stakes here, Alan, or oh, they are, down there, and uh, it's a match with two title contenders. It should be special. Certainly should, Martin. Looking forward to this because uh, they've both been good value this season. Both, I'm sure, would love to finish up on top at the end of all their efforts. The Aston Villa team for this game. James Chester starts, despite looking shaky in recent games. Robert Snodgrass comes in for Jack Grealish, who's disappointed recently. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. Thanks. Reading are ready to go with this lineup. Vito Manoni starts in goal. Liam Moore starts with Thiago Ilori in defence. And they just go with the one striker up front. Thank you, Villa Park. Enjoy the game. Reading in excellent form. They certainly showed it in their home match, their last match, against the Queen's Park Rangers. Yeah, 6-0, it was comprehensive. Having said that, I think this could turn out to be a draw. All right, here we go. This match, Scott Duncan. Been so excited for this one. Referee uh, satisfied everything's OK, and off we go. See if we can get another three points. Definitely going to need it if we want any chance of winning the title. I think we should be pretty much in the playoff spot. Uh, should we not get that automatic promotion? So hopefully we'll have a chance to be promoted this year. Well, on this series anyway. In real life, it's a completely different story. Oh, good turn. Send it. Oh! That wasn't far off. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away. Even though oh, just bent away quickly, too much. The manager just hoping that that miss is not going to come back to haunt them. They are creating chances, but that was a costly miss. James Chester. Come on, lads. Whelan. One of the Premier League ever presents from its inception in 1992. Nice. Until 
the most awful of seasons 15 16 and relegation rock bottom and somebody who has Villa in his heart Alan what did you make of it well it's just been a, a tale of woe hasn't it it's been a disastrous few years really and so Come sad because on, it's a big club, as we know and they should be doing a lot better Oh, the shit, the come on. direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Nice. That's a poor touch. Possession. Possession's gone away. And guys, let's move up a bit. Here's Ilori. Let's get moving, lads. Good football. Must have the game the other day. I actually nice had to passing. check the difficulty it was world yeah, class. Um, well, that's oh, not on. so much an interception as but, a Yeah, pass. that was a very, a very easy game, I'm not going to lie. Although this is proving to be nowhere near as easy. We actually managed to score, I think, within the first Wheeler. two minutes against QPR the other day. Under so, some pressure, he but there is a well. lot of ex Premier League players in this side. You know, it's uh, Snodgrass, Snodgrass and Yedinak, the Australian captain. It's Did definitely well, not going to be easy. Foot. Cut off the pass. What we've got here is a chance for the home team to do the double over their opponents today, Alan. Yeah, they made a statement, Martin, didn't they, with that earlier win on away territory, and it was a really good performance. Come on, guys, make some runs for me. Leandro Bakuna. Oh, poor fuck. I'm supposed to pass that to the guy in front of him. Was going and read it. Ah, come on. Bruh. Robert Snodgrass. Get there. Now this looks promising. No. Gets his cross in. All good ball in. Handball, sir. Oh, God, that was a bit scary. The referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. This is the kind of uh, pitch that I think attacking players favour, <laughs> well, don't they? I think Come they on, do, lads. yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders. And, uh, you know, a little bit of miscontrol, loss of footing, and uh, you're in. Oh. Ah. Uh, oh. They just can't get the ball away. It's another Ooh. corner. Jesus, I thought I was going to bend back in. Uh. As I said, we don't have our number one team on right now, so this isn't the full power of the Reading side of it. Well, of which there isn't all that much, to be honest. But delivered by Snow. Away. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Come Here's on. Josh Onama. He's got his shot off now. Oh, my lordy me. Power, but not too much direction. It's so hard from this angle to see whether it's on target or not. You're sort of just hoping that it goes flying past the net. Jesus Christ, that had some pace behind it. Plenty of sauce on that one. Aston Villa have possession again. But they could pose some danger now. I'll get there. Aluko. Nice, is good, played out. Nice return pass. Come on, guys, let's run. Could really get at oh, the he's wide open. Here. Steered through, put into the middle. Oh, what a goal! <laughs> Header of the year right there. Woohoo! Sonny Aluko. But when it came, it was superbly taken. I was just hoping I didn't know I didn't see him coming at all. Look at this. Boom! I have to say, Alan, that reminds that, me of you. Ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of a driven header. A brilliant header. Fantastic. What a goal. I doubt he could do that in real life, but here on FIFA 18 it can happen. <laughs> All right, and against the run of the play, to be honest, we are one nil. So we restart here with Reading in front. Goal for Reading. Glenn Whelan. Sonny Hogan. Ah. Come on, Sonny, run. Now Onama. Super, super Reading. Move and able to cut out the pass. Come on. Oh, run, Aluko, run. Go, mate! 
Use your pace. Looking to play their uh, way not enough. Now. It's all right. Take and the corner. corner for Reading. Uh, the goal scored by one Shawnee shot, one goal. That's all yeah, it takes. I think he meant that. He, he, he's seen that gap to the right, and he's found it with a with a really good header. In goes the corner. He's made the save. Return pass. He spotted a teammate and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. Here's Josh Onama. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. He's got it back again from his teammate. Hogan. It should be! Look to kid the goalkeeper really to play that in, but he played it wide. Well, for the next couple of hours or so, he's got to forget friendships and try and outwit his former team. Yeah, well, they know all about him and they know what a good player he is, so they'll be guarded. Little piece of interplay between the two. Richie Delat. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Gone out for a throw. So I've actually started Camorgan today instead of Bod Varson, even though actually now that I'm based in England again, based in Reading, I'm starting to sort of because I mean, well, living in Australia, no one even, no one's even heard of the EFL Championship, so Chris I'm sort Gunther. of getting all the goss on the season. Well, all, the only thing I really know about Reading is what I've played as them online or on here, well, so well I've come to notice or learn that Bod Varson actually hasn't been all that. Glenn Whelan. All that useful to Reading in real life, although this he's been our top scorer on here. So obviously he was meant to be good. Come on. Uh, oh. Oh, it really <laughs> the goal to bring the Come level. on, lads. Well, it looked easy, didn't it? He's close in there, getting some stick from the crowd. Really made a hash of that to try and get the equaliser. Oh, lads. Oh, come on, get there. Oh, damn, I was going to try to get that to Luca. That would have been nice. With, um, some sharp movement. Good ball. Come on, guys. Close him down. Nice. He's got his tackle in. Good and tough. He's gone out now. He's like the one player that I've. Richie he's Delac. really stuck with Reading for a long time now, well, to my knowledge, anyway. Whipped in hard and low. Uh, Up for grabs here. Clearance, what well done. Defensive clearance there. Uh, Good interception. God, this is just a replay of the QPR game in Onto real life. I've got no yeah. nice, Look very good indeed, no possession. The move has broken down. Oh, fuck me. They're closing us down. They're playing really good, is Villa, but not easy today. Come on, get that. Get that. Hogan. Attacking team oh, offside, not happy cool. About that offside Thank you. Ball, but we all day, all day. Here. Well, he is quick, this lad, and he can afford to give himself another yard. I think he's got the beating of these defenders in a race. Oh, referee. Oh, come on. Now, this looks promising. Come on, Luca, wake up. 
Chris Gunter. Thiago Ilori. Come on, guys, move around for me. Aluko. Come on. Throw in now. Oh, what? Oh, no delay here. Hogan. Into the attacking third. Robert Snodgrass. Come on. Ah, shit. Cutting in now. Close him down. Close him down. Oh god, that was a fail. We'll take that one. Do, opening up his body. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to take more off. Wide, sadly for him. Injury. I think you can see at the time that he was hurt in that challenge, and in the end, yeah, no chance. He's got to come off. Jordan Nobita. Come on. Anticipated the direction of the pass and Kedega, was able to intervene. Bro. It's looking good this move. Come on, Kelly, move. Richie Delat. Well, this could nice. be promising here. Chris Gunter. Oh fuck no. I'm stuck. I'm giving it away way too cheaply. That's a brilliant nice. piece of intercepting away. There. at a crucial Come on. time in a crucial position. Aluko. Come on, Chris send Gunter. it. Ah, oh, come on, Aluko, you've got to be on the line, mate. Get wide for him. Oh, here we go. Attacking well here. Ah, oh, come really on. Can't get any of my normal sort of play to work. So if they keep giving it away like that, it'll help out a lot. <laughs> Get there. Hogan. The has and the uh, fourth official has held up the board to say four more minutes. Oh. It's the tackle that stops the attack Wow, here. surprised we got away with that one. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Chris Gunter. Ah, on the move and able to cut out the I'll make sure of it. Oh, here we go. Come on, Gunter. Oh, what are you doing? I went to try and like push it ahead and it switched players. That was weird. Well, that pass Come on, get there. Like reaching its target and they're away with the ball. Oh, got no pace. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking oh, good. Bad from touch. Come on. Oh, Here's get there. Oh no, a bad first touch again. Oh. What a fail by the defence. Gosh, we've been gifted one there. Feel a little bit more comfortable and there. Good value for this advantage at the moment. Well, he got to the position of maximum opportunity. It was an impossible opportunity to squander. Yeah, we often say it was an easy chance, but you have got to be there. And uh, this lad has got the knack of doing that. Widen the margin wow. here to 2 0. Glenn Whelan. That came out of nowhere again. 2 0 right on the stroke of half time. 2 0 the score at the halfway mark. Damn. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him, good overall performance, actually. Really get at the opposition here. Steered through, put into the middle.
Here's a chance. Has to clear it. Going for goal. All right, so as you can see, they're middles, middles, bruh. Uh, up 1-0 over Burton Albion, so they will at this point still be ahead of us, provided uh, we, well, provided Burton don't score and level it up. But yeah, what a weird first half. Let's actually have a look at some of the match facts. Yeah, they definitely, they've had more possession than us, but seven shots, all of which have been off target bar one. So we've actually had, I mean, we've only had three shots on target and two of them have gone in. Uh, pass accuracy is a little bit average, but that's all right. It's still almost 80%, I guess. But yeah, that's a very weird first half, I'm not going to lie. All right, on to the second one now. Tough Let's see what for we the can do. In the second half and the I mean, referee as well. three goals to win to now for Villa. The it's not going to be easy, on, but, but that might be in doubt as the try and hold on. Oh, come on. It was good progress with this attack. Take it, take it, take it. Nice, Aluko. Oh, bollocks! Mm. I call bullshit. To where his teammates are lining up. Oh wow! That looked very good indeed. Poor giveaway. Oh no! Move That's right. Goal kick. Well done. Goal kick now. Alan, what's gone wrong with him? He looks off the pace. Well, his team are losing, and uh, I'm sure his defenders and midfielders will be demanding a bit more, a lot more perhaps, from this attacker who needs to start hitting the target. Come on. Oh, Vito Mano. Still can't get over his save the other day, the penalty. I mean, it's mostly luck, but Kelly. still, whenever you can Let's save a penalty, especially in the 90th minute under all that pressure, that well, is just that serious skill. Come on, Luco. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to take a touch, then hit it. Put into the middle. Head up. Oh! Couldn't quite get enough behind it. Still, this is good play. It should have been anything, but he should have been picking Very it out of the net keeper. Chris Gunter. Leandro Bakuna. Oh, come on. On to the attack now. Oh, now Kelly, Kelly, back post. Good cross. Oh, into too the close to the goalkeeper. Oh, my oh, gosh, I thought he was going to hit that in his own net. Glenn Whelan. Come on. Good vision here. It's looking good, this move. Oh, God. Well, that's yeah, I was going to say, that's offside. offside oh, he's just gone miles early. His manager on the sideline won't be too happy with that. Ah, come on. God, their first touch today has been pretty poor, I'm not going to lie. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Leandro Bakuna. Now Kelly. Good forward play from them. Oh, back post, come on. Oh, oh damn, too much. To the keeper. Well, too close to the goalkeeper. Guys, wake up. Richie Delat. Come on. Ugh. It goes out wide again. Ah, uh, get there, get there, get there. Chris Gunter. Oh, ball. Oh, damn it. Throw in coming up. <laughs> well, there's going to be an alteration now, and with the team trailing, you can understand Glenn why. Glenn will come off. Number eight, Henry Lansbury. In the rain lines, Bray. Oh, 
Oh, come on. He spotted God, Kelly is absolutely buggered. He's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. Can they get that? Oh. Nice. A timely challenge. Oh, gosh. Chris Gunter. Oh, bad idea, Joseph. Come on. Now Kelly. No, oh, I get hold of it. Yeah, thank you. Go on here. It's an advantage. Ah, sh just trying to get the free kick. Robert Snodgrass. Super Red in FC. We're now by far the, the greatest team. Bloody, bloody, blur. Oh, come on. Just send it. Oh, big team. Play forward. A bit of menace in this attack. Oh, that would have been nice if that had come off. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, bullshit. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it. The substitution. Bullshit. Oh. Yeah. Oh, damn, I wanted to make that change. Quinny for England. Uh, I don't even think now he's English, Kelly. actually. Oh, Kelly done one. Could be Come dangerous. On. Aluko. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, he was begging. All he had to do was just side foot it in the back of the net. Coach will be considering his options on the bench. Ah. Come on, you owls. Ah, oh, bloody hell. It's not working. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. Aye, 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 aye. It's looking good from their point of view. Oh, wow. Quick witted and quick in these shots on here. Oh, Jesus well Christ almighty. That was scary. Come on, you laws. I was about to say Spurs for a second. Fuck off, you Spurs. All right. Let's Chris work Gunter. it. Let's get the work. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. Just sent off. Oh. Defensive clearance there. Morgan's got Robert the height, Snodgrass. so if we can just get it to him, he should be able to just, well, hit it in the back of the net. I didn't quite pull it off earlier. Oh. A little private oh, game between me. the two of them. Oh. Came away with that. This could lead to a Come on. It's good attacking play. Oh, no, he sent me the other way. Oh, too Robert much. To clear it. Yes. Now Kelly. Oh, no. Bad giveaway. Letting the shot go. Oh, save. It's Villa's corner. Uh, all right, I'll do that. I'll do that. Substitution time. Need some defence. Only got what a nine odd minutes left, eight odd minutes left. And in it goes. The shot point. Oh, offside! It's offside. Hey, hey, what's up? What's this? Oh, I need to see that one again. That could bullshit. He will say he had to be there to score it, and that's true. But once he was there, he couldn't miss it. Well, a lot of those defenders wondering where their goalkeeper was, but I think in this instance, that's you stupid. can't blame him. Of course, the concern for this manager, I think I saw him glance back to his substitutes having conceded that goal. That's pretty bullshit. He may have just been on. I think there was one guy restart the game. that was Two, behind. Oh, probably the guy on the front post, but... Stephen Quinn. Fucking a bus. <laughs>
<laughs> I ain't taking any chances on this. Chris Gunter. Now Evans. Stephen Quinn. Taluko. On to the attack now. Ah, oh, fuck, it's supposed to be one time. Robert Three Smodgrass. ball. Ah, uh, oh, too easy. Real hint of promise about that attack, but in the end it came to very little. A bit early to be parking the bus, but I ain't taking any chances, especially when we can go top today. Again. Provided, well, provided now Middlesbrough. Kelly. Well, Burton Albion, I should say, pick up their game against Middlesbrough. Got it back again from his teammate. Middlesbrough. Aluko. He's coming forward with some danger. Ah, that's great defending hell. there, stopping that attack. But that guy actually looks like Andy Carroll. Oh, get there, get there, get there. Oh, God, where is that going? I think I accidentally pressed tackle, which is also now shoot. Oh, no, 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 Get there, fuck. Come on. Oh, nice, nice, very nice. All day. A throw in. A Bon Lahore. Gosh, I remember him. I didn't know he still played. Now Kelly. Quinn. Time nearly up here. And just throw it forward a bit to their next game. Yeah, Aston no. Villa go up against Norwich City after this. Really don't think they'll be happy at all. The manager, in fact, I think he's oh, furious. La, la, la. That would have been spectacular if he'd pulled it off. Ah, <laughs> oh, keep it in. Oh, that's a bit risky. I didn't see that man there. Come on. Stephen Quinn. Oh, fuck. Keep an eye on the watch because we Away. haven't got that long to go. Oh, come and on, the team lads. Know that. They can't get too desperate, though. They need to keep some sort of poise about their play. Yeah, they've got to keep the shape. I mean, it's not time to further centre half and the goalkeeper forward yet, but we're approaching that moment. That looked very good oh. indeed, but the move has broken down. Oh, fuck. I was just about to shoot it. <laughs> James Chester. Oh, Came in with the challenge and the ball broke Obvious. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Come on, Joseph. Stop looking Here's at the Josh score, we've got to hold on to this thing. An opponent's around him, that's good screening Cut of the off. football. Oh, no, go away. Go away, go away. Go away, no, oh my god. Go away. Oh, well done. Keep going, mate. Oh, shit. Oh, just get it away. <laughs> Leave the premises. Oh, well. Well done. Come on, run, come Morgan. Use every last non ounce of pace you have. Referee. Oh, come on. Hey, <laughs> donkey. Decided to make a change. There's activity. Oh, yeah, Nax coming off. Has he still got a beard? <laughs> Looks like bloody Ned Kelly. Using his physical power to protect the ball. Ah, shit. That's a nice, fine nice, challenge. nice, 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 nice. got the ball. Come on. Five seconds left. This is done. We right, have got four added minutes. Well, that should give these players some encouragement because they've been playing pretty well and uh, they just need to take the chances now. Oh, come on. Shit. Being closed down. Oh, wow. Well. Shank that one. Chris Gunter. Ah, come on, Joseph. That's the wrong idea. Nice, come on. Where's the whistle at? Aluko. Where's the whistle at? Oh. Come on, Harriet. Move. Plenty of oh, wow. For the team to attack into. 
Oh no! Oh no! 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 Probably should have just gone to the corner. Oh this no! Come could on! Be costly against the side that can break like this. Oh, shit! James Chester. Shit! Away! Build up until whistle! Yes! Woohoo! And there is the final whistle. Brilliant effort by the players to produce a match like this in these conditions. Three valuable yeah, points to continue our there, charge to the top. About and that led to a great nice. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance. Really get at the opposition here. Steered through, put into the middle. Here's a chance. Has to clear it. Going for goal. And in it goes. The shot's on. He's put, and that's the sign of a top-class player to score like that. All right, well, there it is. Another big win on the season. Um, I'd actually just go out to the main menu, see how we ended up. So, wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? English okay, football so League Middlesbrough one again. Aston Villa one, Reading two. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Middlesbrough. Okay, so we've got all this stuff. Can, oh, who's injured? Uh, Liam Moore, Bruce, uh, six days. Okay, that's not bad. All right, so we're still only one point behind, but as you can see with that win, we've extended our... Uh, gap over Villa, so now we're pretty much, well, almost uh, sort of secured that all-important second uh, position in the table. So that'll be that means automatic promotion to the Premier League. For those that don't know uh, how the English football system works, but yeah, we've definitely um, secured our place in the playoffs. Should we not finish second, as you can see, the top six there, you have to finish in the top six. So uh, if we actually just go to this table real quick, yeah, we're 12 points ahead of Derby, so that'll mean they'd have to win literally three games with a goal difference of something. Actually, that's quite interesting. Look, the goal difference between Reading and Middlesbrough is identical. Anyway, uh, that's all we have time for today. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. Well, that was a much closer game than what the QPR game was the other day, but yeah, all in all, big win, and we should have, uh, well, hopefully a much easier run for the rest of the year. We don't have quite the same competition as Aston Villa uh, from here on out. Yeah, looking forward to hopefully getting another win against Preston on the weekend, so definitely stay tuned for that one. All right, guys, thanks once again for tuning in, and until next time, I will catch you later.